So it's very easy for me because I'm doing the exchange sequencing and that's the number one. Obviously, um, being able to sequence the tumor and navigate patients into better treatment options and standout care where only one out of four cancer treatments prolong life is something that we can um, materialize and deliver very quickly because of the uh, short regulatory um, pathway. It's not taking 10 years to develop those drugs. Number two is of course immune oncology. We have to remember it works on 20% of the patients uh, in solid tumors on a good day. And uh, one of my quick uh, questions here is that, what about the 80%? And again, I believe that um, next-gen sequencing can answer some of that in terms of navigating patients into other treatment options. And finally, the last one is um, AI. Um, I believe that once we aggregate enough uh, genomics information and we connect the dots to the outcome data, that is really the missing link in fully optimizing on an individual patient basis um, treatment options. So I am Danish, so I'm uh, always a little difficult for me to um, uh, not be completely humble, but I do be me believe that what we have done with uh, enabling RNA sequencing in uh, oncology is a game changer. Uh, we find a handful of markers for response to already approved drugs in all the patients. And my goal is really to get uh, one RNA our platform into standard of care so that we know what uh, to do with these patients and that can navigate them into more productive, more effective treatments up front because once you're in a metastatic setting it's so much harder to, to treat these patients. So I'm actually, I've, I feel that industry is doing an amazing job in terms of innovating right now, not uh, just uh, enabling these next-gen sequencing technologies in the clinic, uh, but also uh, pushing the needle in terms of other ways and combining treatments and um, uh, medical devices, uh, AI. So I think industry is on fire. Um, I think what's lacking, uh, quite frankly, is uh, the regulators and the payers to keep up with that. We have been um, uh, graced with uh, some amazing collaborators. Our collaboration with uh, Rutgers uh, Cancer Center in New Jersey, US, is sponsored by a not-for-profit. So not-for-profits play an incredibly uh, important role in driving new innov innovation um, uh, through the validation process and into the market. They're talking, they have the support of their um, patient uh, groups and they play a very significant role in uh, advocacy. Mm -hmm.